It may be 4.35, but we're still making pancakes. I hear glass shatter all the way up. My fiance is back from Germany. Woo! He's pretending he can't hear me because I told him that I feel very weird talking to a camera with him in the house. We'll get over it. It's just, it's, it's, sorry, microphone has to stay here. Also, why am I doing this? It's the early parts of being a YouTuber. You have to overcome this hurdle in order to progress. And so this is us fighting through that right now. If I look a little tired, I will tell you about the horrible experience I had in the middle of the night last night. So way back when in college, my mom sent me this in a care package. My mom said she would drink a little bit before going to bed and it made her have a great night of sleep. Lemon raspberry, so great combo, delicious. It also kind of smells like fun dip powders. For a few nights in a row when my fiance and I were going to bed, I would give both of us a glass of water with some of this sprinkled in. Well, I started getting a little bit more generous with the pores and I figured like, what's the big deal if I put double to triple to quadruple the dose and it turns out it's actually a really big deal we started waking up with headaches it was a little weird and we didn't attribute it to this at first but then one of the times i was existing in the dream i was able to affect the world around me the concept was i was in a mall and there was an alien invasion and so i'm like uh this is a weird dream and i ended up going into a closet at one point in the dream, I like knew it was a dream. I was thinking like, okay, I have to wake up. How do I wake up? Shit you not, I tried pinching myself in the dream because it felt so real that I was worried that if I got killed or hurt, I felt like I would genuinely feel that pain. And I realized that I had been overdosing both of us on magnesium because when I looked it up, that's totally a thing and it can spur on some sleeps that are a little too deep. Don't use it like an idiot like I did where you just pour it in just a you know? So this is how much you're supposed to take. Two teaspoons. I used to go probably like that. And it's just crazy that these sorts of things can exist in a little grandma owned health food store and it could actually give you the worst night terror of your life. That's the backstory. But yesterday I had my second experience with one. It was horrible. I was vlogging. I guess this new obsession has creeped its way into my dreams, probably rather unhealthy. I was looking back at the footage. I was noticing that I was in my college dorm. All of a sudden there was a knock at the door. I went over, I opened it and there was a letter on the ground. I opened up the letter and it was a picture of me in that moment opening the letter. I look at the envelope and it says, I love you Nils. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Finally in the dream, I turned to my fiance and he goes, maybe you're dreaming. Thankfully, I did wake up, freaked the fuck out, wrote the whole thing into my notes. I'm sure that's a fun note. If I look tired, that's why. I had an eventful night. Having those sorts of nightmares as a kid where you really don't understand what's going on, like the concept of your brain being overly active while you're sleeping is so foreign and you're like, where did I just go? That was so scary. We were tough. I mean, geez, that's intense. So let's start making some pancakes. These are my grandma's famous pancakes. Of course, I'm looking up a recipe online because I don't have her exact one, but I remember what they look like. All right, I'm looking up old fashioned pancakes. Not to call my grandma old fashioned. She's very hip. Oh, I just wrote old fashioned grandma. About what you'd expect. It's funny how many watermarks there are on there. Like, they're really trying to protect that image. Normal pancakes, let's put one here. Nils from the future. Regular pancakes are like the flat McDonald's IHOP pancakes, but old fashioned are like these thicker, crispier outside, fluffier interior. They're so much better, in my opinion. You could like your McDonald's pancakes, but you're just wrong. So this is what we're trying to make. Okay, I immediately realized we do not have milk. Should we make milk? Okay, honestly, I'm glad that we don't have oats because that would have immediately made these pancakes pretty bad. This has nothing to do with the video, but look how cute this is. Out of all of our mixing bowls, this is the only one that's clean. Don't think it's gonna fit in here. Okay, we have pasta in our big bowl, so I'm gonna transfer this, but coming out of the fridge, it smells so much different than it did going into the fridge. Like. Like, obviously this smells like pasta, but it smells like refrigerated pasta, you know? Why does it get that refrigerated sound? The worst example of that is chicken. Chicken smells like a fart. <laughs> Not like chipotle chicken. Chicken that has been refrigerated and then warmed up smells like a fart. Every single time that my fiance is eating warmed up chicken, I do ask if he has... <laughs> 
unfortunately every single time he tells me that it's his food and that I've ruined his appetite. Does refrigerated chicken smell like a fart to anyone else? Let me know down below. Shoot, you know what? Um, I'm kind of realizing that I don't want to make these. We'll make them another time. Sometimes you have to know when to quit. It's just, you know, it's not the vibe. We had a good day today. Why do I refer to myself as we? I had a great day today. Actually, that's a fucking lie. No, I didn't. Well, now I'm having a great day. But this morning started off a little wonky because last night my fiance and I found out that our entire app idea we had been working on for a few months and we launched it back in January. Yesterday I was scrolling through TikTok and a TikTok came up that I thought we had posted from our business account. Cause it was the same format, everything. Shit you not, to the T, everything about the style of video was very similar. I'm gonna put up both references. I will block out any information that could showcase which is which. Somebody or somebody's had entirely ripped our entire idea from our name to our logo, to our concept, to our marketing. It's expected to happen, you know? Yeah, it sucks and it makes you sad and it makes you feel like, honestly, a little violated. Kind of like stalker vibes, which, uh, no bueno. That is business, that's, that's America. People are gonna be stealing one another's idea. Everyone is out here just trying to get a check. You just gotta stay one step ahead because somebody could copy you, but they will never have the creativity that outputted what they wanted to copy. But we're feeling better now. We went on a nice late night drive yesterday, got our minds off of everything. I'm literally sweating because there's somebody right next to me in a truck again, uh, looking. And people in trucks are slightly intimidating when they're looking at a vlogger in a little Subaru Outback. So I'm just gonna stay quiet and just wait for this light to turn green. What am I gonna get over this? You know what? Let's just get over it right now. I'm never gonna see this person again. Anyway, let's go get some milk and make some pancakes. Does anyone else have this weird complex where they think they are just a superior human if they're able to carry everything? instead of getting a bag or a basket. Why do I do that every single time? A little mentally dull. Get a freaking bag. Jesus. Saving the planet though. Getting back to the thing about copycats. I remember back in middle school, I went shopping with my mom and I saw these orange, when I say orange, I mean neon highlighter orange pants. I thought they were the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Bold little middle schooler me used to wear them all the time. Middle school is an interesting time. I got my fair share of getting bullied for those orange pants, particularly by one young gentleman that was a little older than me. Ripped into me for these pants, but nonetheless, I still wore them. Go little old me. Don't ever let anyone take away your sparkle. I continued wearing them and then eventually it just like, you know what? It like got out of style. Just not my brand, got over it. And then I go to high school. I run into this kid again. He is now wearing bright orange pants. Sometimes people will make fun of your little sparkle because they wish they themselves had a sparkle. I don't know why I'm referring to everything as a sparkle. All right, that's enough for me. Let's get started. I think we just combine the wet ones and then we put in the, or no. We do the, we put together the uh, dry ones and then we put in the wet ones. Uh oh, do we not have baking soda? I really just said, do we not have baking soda? And we have this behemoth. Just get a little teaspoon of, get a little teaspoon of this. It's interesting that I've never had an egg go bad. I don't really want to find out what happens, but I am a little curious. Maybe I'll leave an egg in the back of the fridge to find out. Mmm, buttermilk. I hope... I don't know. This smells like a rancid yogurt. Okay, I have to look something up. Buttermilk is just fermented milk, so it kind of makes sense that it smells like that. Fermented milk. Also... I... it literally smells like yogurt. This texture isn't 
Thanksgiving pancake. I swear to you, I followed this to a T. These dogs shed like no tomorrow. And I'm at the point where even if I'm eating and I see a dog hair, oftentimes I will just like pretend I didn't. I know that's probably gross, but what's a dog hair gonna do to you? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, they like roll around and poo outside. Actually, that's disgusting. That actually is the reason why you don't eat dog hair because they're for, okay. We're changing from this point on. I'm feeling a little low energy, so don't be mad at me, but we're gonna do this part tomorrow morning. And to you, it's nothing. To you, it's just... I promise this is the real deal. We're actually making these pancakes. It might even be the case that these are gonna be so much better because we waited multiple days. Like refrigerated stuff. Uh, oh, why does it have little speckles in it? What are those brown speckles? It's only been like 12 hours, so it can't be anything deadly. So we're still gonna make them. We're gonna be making it on a cast iron because I want it to feel colonial. Does that make sense? Like I want it to feel like somebody from Little House on the Prairie made them. Old school, they're a little charred. I don't think pancake batter is supposed to look like that. If it's done correctly, it should look like charred granny. Okay, maybe a little burn. Sorry to anyone with tryptophobia. I'm sure that's a little triggering. My fear, bigger than tryptophobia, far bigger than tryptophobia. Thalassophobia or something. It's the fear of just big open water, specifically the ocean. The thought of not being able to touch the floor and knowing that there could be something lurking beneath. Uh-uh, not my brand. It's so ridiculous that when I was very little and I'd be taking baths, I would be scared that the bottom of the bathtub would fall out and I'd fall into a pit of like open water. Look at this pancake. That is the vibe we're going for, so, so far so good. Okay, this is a little, it's a little too much like when they bring out some fajita in a Mexican restaurant, which apparently the reason that it's steaming is they add a little bit of water to it right before they bring it out so it seems like it's fresh off the griddle but it's actually just steam evaporating so big lie but i like the theatrics i grew up on a lake it was a man-made lake like there's nothing crazy in there but i have two wonderful wonderful older siblings that's not sarcasm they're wonderful but they definitely played into the role of older siblings because when i'd be swimming in the lake they knew that i had this fear as a child and so they would tell me that there's a crocodile right behind me and that I have to swim as fast as I can to get out of the water. And that made a lasting impression because even now I hate going into the ocean. And it's not their fault. That, that fear has always existed. My brother moved to San Diego at some point and he was so excited for me to visit so he could take me surfing. And I didn't have the heart to tell him that I absolutely have no desire to go surfing with him. So instead I just faced my fears and told him that I'm down to go. Inside I was dying. I didn't even put my feet in the water. Like I was fully on that board trying not to even dip a toe in. Just thinking about what's below the whole time. Cause all that's going through my head is I am the woman on the Jaws movie poster. He wanted to paddle out a bit more. Before you get over the hump of the wave, you can't see what's over it. And one of the times we're paddling over the wave and we get over the hump, there was a fin right in front of us. I look over at my brother and he's paddling backwards as fast as possible. I was like, shit, this is, this is fight or flight. It turned out to be a dolphin. Both of us stopped surfing for the day and my brother admitted that those were the hardest surfing conditions that he's ever experienced. So, uh, great day for me to start learning how to surf. I'll never do it again. It's just not my realm. I mean, I love the ocean. I love sitting on the coast. I like going into a depth that a shark couldn't come out and swoop and bite my feet off. Ooh, this one looks good. Doesn't that just look like a pilgrim made it in their little cottage? Am I a pilgrim? If there is a next time that we make these, I will dress up like a pilgrim. These pancakes are looking great. Whenever I start getting lazy when making pancakes, the pancakes just become behemoth pancakes. We might start making some big mamas. I'm just gonna flip it prematurely. I am sick of this shit. That's the worst part about cooking, when you're so excited to, to start and you're just like amped, you have tons of energy and then you get going and you're already committed and you started making all these dirty dishes and putting ingredients together. And then like a few seconds pass and you're over it. That sucks. This is the last one. I still have to flip it. Oh shit, this one's really burnt. Go out on a low note. Mmm. 
Okay, he hates it. 